Hey VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here, uh, back for a recent finds video. Just kind of showing you stuff that's come in, sitting over here in the recent, recently arrived stack that I haven't shown you yet. Uh, some things I, I picked up yesterday when I was working at the shop, and some things has been sitting down here for a month or two. So uh, yes, yeah, just kind of dive right in. Going to start off here with you know one that I have to show straight up front because this is one that I've been waiting on for so freaking long. Of those of you that follow me or kind of know me, know that Godsmack is my absolute favorite band without question. And I've been wanting to get a copy of Awake on vinyl for so long. And they finally got around to making an official pressing. I think there was a boot that came out in January, somewhere around there. But uh, yeah, we finally got an official pressing of it. Um, yeah, it just means awesome. That's all I can say. It's, it's kind of hard when your favorite band has so few, especially their best albums they haven't reissued. But uh but yeah, they finally gave us a wake, which is just an awesome, awesome album. And this has really turned into a good year for me, too, because the two albums that were at the top of my list, if like a record company came to me and said, we want to reissue and press some new stuff, what are the two that you want us to press? It would have been Awake by Godsmack, and it would have been Seal's second album from 1994. And both of those, you know, this one came out this week. And Seals 1994 is coming out June 14th. So, uh, like, a really good reissue segment for me right here to get my two top picks. But, uh, yeah, so now if Godsmack will give us Faceless and Four on vinyl, uh, don't dare think about making, like, a box set with their first four albums. Like, that would just completely blow my mind. But very excited about that one. 2OP, which is nice. And then there's also an exclusive from their website, which is, like, a yellow and black swirl kind of vinyl. And, of course, I'm getting that one, too. Um, but moving right along, here's one, uh, The Sacred Souls. Try to get the glare out of there. This is one I wasn't familiar with and stumbled across it in the shop about a month or so ago. And, um, yeah, it's a 2022 release. And cover looked kind of cool, and I gave it a listen. And it really is a cool album. For anyone who's into old-school soul, like something straight out of Motown, or something that sounds like um, like a lot of feel that I got off of here was like the Delphonics and stuff like that. Just kind of a newer group, totally doing it all old school. Simple to the point, those old school grooves and feel and everything. And it's a really, really cool record, like I said, for those who like that, that era of soul music. Uh, the one thing I, I thought kind of that was interesting about it to me was you're listening to these songs. Like I said, it's all that old school stuff. And the singer in this group is just kind of a a normal good singer. Just like, you know, just a normal good singer. But it was also one of those things where it made me think. But, you know, realistically, anyone who's a halfway decent singer could step in and replace the lead singer here and do exactly what he did. Whereas if you go back to, you know... Um, David Ruffin, you know, or Eddie Kendricks or Smokey Robinson and like on and on and on. Like those guys had Wilson Pickett, you know, that type of thing. Such a unique and distinct sound that no one could just step in and take over. And I think that's really the thing that, that just makes that time period so much more magical. And again, just listening to this made me think about that. But like I said, if you're an old school fan, this is a good album and I highly recommend checking it out. So uh, it's nice to see some people kind of still carrying on that that old school sound. Uh, what else we show here? How about this one? Stone Temple Pilots Core. This is the Analog Productions reissue that just came out not too long ago. Um, to me, one of the greatest albums from the grunge period. I mean, just the, the perfect crossover between, you know, kind of what grunge was bringing to the table, but then also being extremely radio friendly also being very groovy and even with some of the slower type of songs and slower bpms one of the heaviest albums i think just ever from that time period like this album just just had the check marks everywhere and uh, still to this day my favorite stp album and probably my favorite album from the the grunge period i know people will say a lot you know and start nirvana and the pearl jam blah 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 but uh you know Soundgarden. but yeah that that stp is just perfection and uh next year one of the new tone poets releases that i picked up a couple weeks ago uh bobby hutcherson this is total eclipse um 
and actually I'm not as familiar with this particular album, but basically when all the new tone poets come out, I just try I try to grab them. Um, you know, we tend to get them pretty regularly at the shop. So, uh, yeah, I haven't listened to this one yet, but I'm definitely a big fan of Bobby and looking forward to kind of diving deeper into that one. Uh, what else? What else? What else? How about... This one's been sitting down there for a while. I picked this up like a month or two ago. Uh, Celine Dion, My Love, The Essential Collection. Yes, I love Celine Dion. I think just one of, one of the amazing voices. Such a powerful voice. Um, you know, and again, just basically all her hits on here. You know, stuff like My Heart Will Go On from Titanic, which maybe is kind of like the one song I could never listen to again. I uh, just got a cool song, but got so played out with that whole thing. Uh, you know, it's all coming back to me now. Actually, I'll just do this. You guys can see the track listing there if you want to pause it. But yeah, it kind of has all her hits on there. Um, you know, really, really cool stuff. I remember first hearing the song Power of Love by her back in college, and it just kind of blew my mind. I fell in love with her right then and there. And yeah, you, you guys know me, still love her to this day. Um, and then next, let's go with, where are we on time? Six minutes. Let's show maybe two more really quick here. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, how about this? Let's do a quick flash here. Little Motorhead, uh, their 1996 release. This has been sitting down there for quite some time, actually. But uh, yeah, just some more classic Motorhead to add to the collection that I didn't didn't already have. And last but not least, this is a new one. Just came out yesterday. A little Collective Soul. This is a Here to Eternity. This is a new album by them, their 2024 release, a uh, 2LP set on kind of this um, goldish type of vinyl there. I've only listened to the first two songs on it. I just had to kind of stream it really quick to check it out. And the first two songs sounded very solid, so I thought, hey, it's Collective Soul, always love them, let me dive in and take a chance. So I can't really say much about the album overall yet, but you know, we'll dive into it this weekend and kind of see what it sounds like. Uh, nice little packaging though, like nice hefty gatefold, like I said, with the, the 2LP, so I'm definitely looking forward to kind of diving into that one. So that's the new Collective Soul just came out, I think this this week. So anyway, there you go VC, those are a few recent finds. Uh, as always, let me know what you guys think, and we will talk to you soon. Alright, take care guys.